Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. When spring comes, it means lots of work for the rangers. Yes, it's all day, from sun up to sundown, and then sometimes far into the night, as the rangers work to guard the public lands. Each spring, I'm especially concerned, because the river rises high with water from melting snow coming down from the mountains. And come spring each year, the river's a threat to the town of Rivers Bend. But one year, there was a new threat, a new danger. It was the time the rangers and I fought the River Monster. How high is the Shady River now, Bill? It's climbed our gauge just three inches. Ah, oh, that plenty of water. <laughs> Tain't nothing yet, Sonny. Wait till old Shady really gets her dander up. Then you'll see more water than you ever seen before. When all that snow begins to pour out of the mountains, you'll think somebody opened up the gates of Hoover Dam and let her all come rolling down on us. Yeah, I remember last spring. Well, the folks at Rivers Bend thought the levees were going to break open for sure. How oh, well I remember, pal. I never filled so many sandbags in all my life. But they held the river back. Maybe they not have same trouble this year. They build dikes stronger and bigger than before. Well, personally, I'm not worried about the town at all this spring because of those improvements. But we'll have to keep watching the old gal anyhow. You never know when she's liable to get angry and pull a new caper on us. Well, at least we won't have to fill sandbags. All the river can do now is flood the rangeland, and, well, that'll go down after a few weeks. Yep. Guess we can scratch old Shady River off our worry list. Randy, where did you come from? Bill, is there big trouble? Trouble? The Shady oh, River. The Shady River? What's it doing now? No, oh, it's not the river she behave. It's uh, Zach Stevens. He got a big log raft on river. Too big to handle with more and more water coming into river from mountains. Oh, man. How big is this log raft, Frenchy? Frenchy, not know for sure. Only she look like a big river monster. This old fireplace sure feels good after being out cutting logs all day. You said it, Zach. <clears throat> Guess I'm getting old. Look forward to coming inside the cabin every evening and soaking up the heat. <clears throat> Me too, Clarence. Zach, what are we going to do about that oversized log raft we've got in the river? Yeah, what do you mean, what are we going to do about it? Well, some of the boys saw Frenchie Dussault looking at it early today. Uh, I don't mean anything. Besides, Frenchie's quit being a troublemaker since he's got religion. Yeah, but Frenchie's a good friend of Bill Jefferson. So? What am I supposed to do? Like I said, Frenchie's quit being a troublemaker. You mean he doesn't pick fights anymore. But that oversized raft we've got is a menace with the water rising in the big shady river. Frenchie might get the ranges about it. Hey, who are you working for? Me or that Frenchman? Okay, forget it, Zach. I just got a feeling we might get a visit from the rangers, that's all. So the rangers visit us. So the raft is extra big. So the raft is a menace. So I'm as good a raftman as I am a lumberjack. You let me worry about the raft, Clarence. Your job is to see that the boys cut down the trees and make logs. That should keep you busy enough. Okay, okay. But if you get into trouble, don't say I didn't warn you. Warn me all you want to. I'm not breaking the law. I'll move that raft when I'm good and ready, and not before. What are you going to do about that big raft, Bill? I don't know yet, pal. 
And that'd be plenty dangerous if it get loose on river with flood water coming fast. Mm, she'd be very dangerous. She'd take everything with it that gets in way. How much do you think that there monster weighs, Frenchy? Oh, the rough uh, have maybe uh, 200 log. Uh, they weigh a uh, thousand each. Maybe the raft, uh, oh, she weigh a hundred ton. Wow. Say, fellas, what do you say we go out and take a look at this monster, huh? Look at the size of that thing, would you? Look like an overgrown whale come up to see what's going on. Ah, uh, too big. I'll say it's too big, Ray Wolf. Personally, I think Stephen ought to be ashamed of himself to put a thing like that together. That's only held together with heavy chains and cables. Oh, heavy chain and cable only fasten logs together. But cable not hold to river bank if water get higher, room faster. Then break loose. If you ask me, them worn cables don't look like they could hold back a hundred tons once the river got mad. That's what's worrying me, old timer. The river is higher every day. Yep. Pretty soon, old Shady will be hopping. Then bingo. When do they figure the peak will be reached, Grey Wolf? Oh, uh, maybe a few more days. Uh-oh. Here comes Zack and his foreman. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. If Zack get tough, Frenchy fix him. You're forgetting, Frenchy. No rough stuff. Hey, uh, where do you range it? What are you doing on private property? Uh, get out. Perhaps you haven't read the rule book lately, Zack. The law says that ten feet beyond the edge of the river is public property. Public property is our field of operation. Uh, you keep soft tongue and head. You get along better. We, oui, Zach Stevens, maybe you like to try and throw Frenchy out. Hold it, fellas. Yeah. Zach, we didn't come here to start a quarrel or a fight. We're on business. You're not afraid we might see something that we shouldn't see, are you? Oh, me? Don't be silly. I haven't got a thing to hide. You're right there, Zach. You couldn't hide that thing we're looking at, even if you wanted to. Hey, you mean the long raft? You hit the nail right on the head. You know a raft that size could do a lot of damage if it ever got loose. Yeah, who says it's going to get loose? <laughs> you don't think them shoestrings you got it tied to the shore with are going to hold it, do you, young fella? That's my business, Ranger. And I'll thank you to mind your own. Listen, Zach. And listen hard. This is our business. That oversized log raft is a menace to all property, public and private. And it's also a threat to the town of Rivers Bend. If that thing ever got loose and went careening around the bend of the river, what do you think would happen to the levee the town spent thousands of dollars to build up? Now you listen to me, Jefferson. You're not telling me what to do or how to do anything. I'm the best raft man on this river, and when I'm ready to move that raft, I'll move it. Move it safely. But that's when I'm ready to move it, and not before. Zack, I'll be back in one week. You'd better have that raft floating carefully down the river to the mill, or else reduced to half its size. Is that a threat, Ranger? No, it's an order. And I can assure you of one thing, I never was more serious in my life. The needle, please come to order. Come on, fellas. Hey, hey, knock it off, will ya? We, we got important business to do. We don't want to waste all night. Thank you. Well, gentlemen, there's no use me going over the problem that caused this meeting. The question is what we're going to do about that monstrous raft that threatens the safety of our town. That's right, Chair. Chair, listen for any motion from the floor. <laughs> Mr. Chairman? Mr. Sykes, <coughs> as mayor of Rivers Bend, I move that the chair appoint a committee of two men to pay a visit to Zach Stevens and warn him to either get that raft moved or make two rafts out of it. I second the motion, Mr. Chairman. You've heard the motion. Is there any discussion or are you ready for the question? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion's carried. As chairman, I appoint Mr. Sykes, our mayor, and Mr. Close, our treasurer, to pay Zach Stevens a visit. You two men will ask Mr. Stevens to break the raft apart before it gets loose and smashes the levee that 
keeps the Shady River from flooding our town. And if he won't comply, then what do we do? Well, I'd suggest that you take the whole matter to the Rangers, Mr. Claus. Bill Jefferson will know what to do. Sure is beautiful up here at the headwaters, Bill. Yes, pal. We're several thousand feet above sea level here. Now, there's Naughty Pine way over to our left. Yeah. Looks like he's just a couple of miles. Yet it's 25 miles away. Mm-hmm. Well, did you find out what you came up here for? I think so. I wanted to see how much snow was melting and running down the mountains into these tributaries of the Shady River. Yeah, believe me. This old sun's getting mighty powerful. You see those five creeks all running down the mountains? Every one of them swollen with water. I'll say. How many creeks feed into the river, Bill? No, I think the estimate uh, 106 tributaries into the Shady. The five we see here give us a good idea what the sum total of volume is. I'd say all we need is some warm southerly winds, and that river will rise ten feet overnight. How long do you think it'll be until the river's at its peak? About a week or ten days. Boy, 106 creeks can empty a lot of water in a few days' time. Mm, Sure could. You see, some of these high mountain passes have 15 feet of snow in them, and where the temperature's above freezing, that means millions of gallons of water flowing off. And meanwhile, Zach Stevens lets his river monster sleep at its moorings. Why, it's criminal, that's what it is. Well, he's only got four days left to let it sleep. I gave him a week to move it to destroy it. Four more days, and he's going to get into real trouble if that raft isn't moving or split up. Zach, in the name of common sense and decency, why won't you listen to reason? You're threatening the whole town of Riverspin with that raft. Well, that's too bad. What am I supposed to do? Break down and cry because you're worried? Well, I'm surprised, Zach. I always thought you were a gentleman with a sense of honor. And I'd sure hate to think I was mistaken. Now you listen to me. I'll give you two fellas just five minutes to get off my place. And if you don't, I'll call the boys and have you thrown off. You forget one thing. That raft is my private property and it's nobody's business what I do with it. I'm the best raft man in this whole country, and I know what I'm doing. I doubt that very much. If you had an ounce of brains, you wouldn't take the chance of having a tragedy occur at your expense. You'd better listen, Zach Stevens. There are 400 people in River Spend, and if you... So what'll happen if I don't listen, huh? Come on, Close. No use talking to this guy. Let's take the matter up with the Rangers. Bill Jefferson will show this smarty where to head in. Yeah? Yeah, well, you go ahead and get the Rangers. See if it'll do you any good. I'm not going to move that raft. And there's not a thing you can do about it. That's the answer he gave us, Bill. Just a lot of mean, smart aleck answers. Hmm. Well, the whole trouble is, Mr. Sykes, I'm afraid he's right. You mean you can't stop him with the law? You mean that Zach Stevens can't be forced by a court order to break up that oversized log pile he's got floating on the river? Mr. Close, there are times when the law seems inadequate to fulfill its purpose, as in this case. We've got to remember that in America, we respect the private property of others. Sometimes, even if that property is dangerous or undesirable. But what are we going to do? You know as well as I do that nobody can get that raft safely down the river. I mean, no matter how experienced he is. I agree. The river's too high now to handle that raft safely. It's got to be broken up. But how to do it? Mr. Sykes, give me until this evening to figure out a solution. I'll come to River's Bend with some kind of an answer, and that's a promise. Do you think it'll do any good to talk to Zack again, Bill? Well, frankly speaking, pal, no. I don't think it'll do a bit of good. But I want to try just once more anyhow. And nobody can say I haven't given Zach fair warning. We'll be there soon. Mm-hmm. This road's just around the next bend. He's only got two more days until his week is up, hasn't he? That's right. Just two more days. 
Oh, there's the road into Zach's main camp now. Hey, there's a barricade across the mm-hmm. road. So there is. Uh, just pull to the side of the road, Henry. We'll find out what this is all about. Right. Hey, there's a sign on the barricade, Bill. Yeah. Let's see what it says, huh? No trespassing. Private property. Looks like Zach's getting a little erratic, huh? Bill, wait. I just saw a reflection off something shiny between those rocks over there. You see it? Yes, pal. You know what it is? It's a rifle barrel. What? Has Zach gone out of his mind? What do we do now? Do you think they'd shoot if we walked past the barrier? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. No, Bill, no! What if they shoot? Well, there comes a time when you don't back out. This is one of those times. Zach thinks he can call my bluff by using guns, and the time's come for me to change his mind. You get back to the car and stay there. That's an order. But, Bill, what if they... Get back to the car. Now, Bill Jefferson... Let's see what kind of an eye you've got. If you'll only stick that rifle barrel out again. You there, behind those rocks. I want to talk to your boss. Can't you read that sign, Ranger? My boss ain't talking to anybody. You come past the barricade, you get a hole in your head. I'm coming past the barricade right now. You better make that first shot count. Yeah, there's the rifle barrel out again. Now a slug against that rifle should do the trick. Don't come past the barricade. I'm warning you. Atta boy, now I can see it. The sunlight reflects off of it just like a mirror. Now. Oh, Atta boy, Bill. You knocked the rifle right out of his hand. Come on out from behind those rocks with your hands up or I'll come and get you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't shoot. Henry, knock that barricade down and bring the car. We're going in and talk with this man's boss. Zach Stevens, I gave you credit for more brains than this. Yeah, Bill, my man wouldn't have actually shot you. His orders were only to scare anybody who tried to come past the barricade, not to shoot. And that's the honest truth. You think people will believe that? You listen to me. I was going to go to Judge Gordon to get a court order against you because you're possessing a hazard of public and private property and human life. But now I don't have to. I could arrest you right now for assault with a deadly weapon. But, But we didn't do any shooting. Is that so? You're this man's boss, and you probably threatened to beat his ears off if he didn't do what you told him to do. That's right, Ranger. He did. Well, Zach, what'll it be? Jail or destroy the river monster? Uh, yeah, Bill, I, I'm, I'm sorry about the gun incident. Uh, I really mean that. As far as the raft goes, can't we work out some sort of a compromise on that? Well, now you're talking. Zach, I believe you about the gun incident. I don't think you've got it in you to shoot anybody. As long as nobody got hurt, I'll forget about the whole thing. We'll charge it off to, well, misjudgment. Thanks, Bill. I really appreciate it. Now, what kind of compromise are you thinking about on the raft? You will... Bill, I've got a confession to make. Oh? The uh, main reason I haven't moved that raft is because, well, I, I've just been plain scared to death. Well, Zach, why didn't you ask for help? Well, you... My rangers be glad to help you. You mean that, Bill? Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm relieved. You see, I've got an awful lot of money tied up in the raft, and... I, I was figuring I could cut my shipping cost by having only one crew handle a big raft instead of making smaller rafts. But I built a log monster that scares me to death. Okay, Zach, we'll help you. I've got to leave now for a council meeting in Rivers Bend, so let's move it down river first thing in the morning. Henry, you stay here for the rest of the day. I'll be late to the meeting as it is, so I've got to leave now. Okay, Bill. Believe me, I, I'll sure be glad to get rid of that monster. 
It was getting so I couldn't sleep at night. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come to order, you know. Lay it down. Thank you. Mr. Sykes, your report of Zach Stevens' answer is most disturbing. In fact, uh, my reaction is to go over there and punch Stevens right in the nose. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, I agree with your remark, but Mr. Close and I were promised by Bill Jefferson that he'd have an answer for us at this meeting tonight. Uh, where is the ranger? Yeah. What are we supposed to do, wait all night for him? Yeah. Uh, I'm, sh- I'm sure he'll be here soon. Uh, he's probably afraid to show his face. <laughs> He couldn't do anything with Zach Stevens either. Yeah, That's not true. <laughs> Bill's helped us before. He'll help us now. Yeah, well, he'd be here by now. I say we should get some dynamite and go and blow that raft up ourselves before it gets loose and bashes at our dice. This meeting will come to order and we'll adjourn. Come to order now. Either we'll keep order, the meeting will be over, and we'll have accomplished nothing. I ain't doing anything anyhow, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I make a motion we adjourn and go blow up the raft ourselves. That ranger ain't going to show up tonight. He's scared to, because he ain't got an answer ready. I wouldn't say that if I were you. You man will not take the law into your own hands. Constable, guard the doors. Don't let any of these men out. You had the answer you promised, Bill? (laughs) Yes, Mr. Sachs. I have an answer, and it's a good one. Zach Stevens is going to move the raft in the morning. Oh, thank you for what you've done, Bill. And my thanks, too, Bill. You've done our community a great service again. Oh, forget it. Glad I could help. Well, I better get back to Naughty Pine, get some rest. My rangers and I are going to help Zach at the raft. <laughs> What's wrong over there? What's the commotion? Why, it's Zach Stevens trying to get through the crowd. Something's wrong. Look at his face. Yeah, he looks half scared today. He's coming this way. Bill, Bill, i got to see you. The raft has broken loose, and Henry's on it. Listen to me. You're not going to take the law into your own hands, do you hear? Throw that Stevens in jail. He's a murderer. Bring him up. That's what he deserves. Why did I tell you? You men are wasting your time talking when you should be doing something to stop the raft from coming down the river. Bill's right, fellas. Come on, let's quiet down. You got a plan? Yes. You men see that your families are evacuated. If the raft does ram the levees, there's nothing you can do. The thing weighs 100 tons. Meanwhile, Zack and I and the Rangers will be responsible for stopping it. Now get going. Come on, guys. Now, Zack, what about Henry? How did he get on that raft? I got no time to tell you now. But another thing is, there's a load of dynamite on the raft that I'd plan to use to blow it up. Dynamite? Great Scott! Come on, my car is outside. You drive it. I'll work the radio. Let's go and step on the gas. But, but where are we going, Bill? To the helicopter base on the sand flats. We'll take Henry off with the copter first, then blow the monster apart with dynamite. Ranger Bill Jefferson, the sand flats. Jefferson calling sand flats copter base. Come in over. Sandblast copter base to Ranger Bill Jefferson. Come in, Ranger. Over. I need a copter right away. Emergency. Matter of life and death. And I'm coming to the flats as fast as I can. We've got a copter on runway now, warming up for a routine flight. You can use it. The pilot will wait for you. It's copter 26. Drive on strip four and jump aboard. Over. Thanks, Sandflats. We'll be there in four minutes. Over and out. All right, step on it, Zack, and don't spare the horsepower. Coming, Zack? Right behind you. All right, here we go. Up here first, That's it. That's it. Okay, pilot, head for the Shady River. Uh, 
There's the raft. Still got about three miles to go before it hits the town. How's the dynamite set on the raft, Jack? Uh, I've got it stuffed between the logs. Uh, big boxes of it. Uh, that's how Henry got on the raft. Uh, I went back for more dynamite. He was stuffing it between the logs when the raft broke loose. Uh-huh. So I figured I'd blow the thing up if it got out of hand. Well, we got two jobs then. Get Henry off, then stop the raft before it gets to the town. Meanwhile, that raft could blow up at any time. All it needs is to hit a snag big enough to make the logs crush the dynamite. Yeah, there's the raft. And, and there's Henry. Good. A pilot, bring the copter down over the raft as close as you can. Now lower the cable. Yes, Henry! No! The current's taking the raft toward the shore all the time. We've got to blow her up before she hits the bend. She'll bust that nut into smithereens. Flood the whole town. That's right. Now listen to me, Henry. See what we're lowering on the end of the cable? Wait a minute. It's a stick of dynamite, isn't it? Yes. Some matches to light the fuse. Now be very, very careful. Our lives depend on it. Put the stick of dynamite under the box of it and light that fuse. It's long enough to give us time to lift you on the cable and get away before the dynamite explodes. You understand? Yeah, I got it. Remember, pal, be careful. Grab on, Henry! It's yours! Okay! I swear! You all right, Henry? Yeah! I'm coming in now! <laughs> there! <laughs> there! I mean... Boy, I was just about to swim for it. You came along. Yeah, that wouldn't have been too good in that current. Oh, hello there, Zach. Oh, Henry, am I glad you're safe. Why, I'd have never forgiven myself if anything had happened. Boy, look at the logs scattered along the river. Dynamite sure broke the raft up. You said it. At last, the river monster is dead. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! This is Stumpy Jenkins, the Ranger Bill's old sidekick, as I guess you all know. Just adding a little extra word of thanks for getting yourself in on the program today. Always glad to have you along. And I hope you invite your friends, too, for we sure got lots of adventures to tell you about. And we don't want you to miss any of them. So you make sure to be there by your radio every week. Don't lose out on our next story. <laughs> <laughs>